hello, my name is Martin. Uh, unlike most of you, I don't have any experience at all with uh, crisis mapping. Uh, 20 years ago, I worked as a human rights observer in, uh, in Guatemala, but uh, my professional life has been focused on developing statistical methods for disease surveillance. So this is actually the first day that I get to combine two of my passions in my life, so that's great. It's great to be here. Um, I'm going to talk about geographical patterns. Uh, are they random or not? And uh, uh, this is a statistical talk, but uh, don't panic too much because uh, there won't be any formulas. So uh, uh, there are many methods for, for evaluating geographical patterns statistically, and I'm going to talk about spatial uh, and space-time scan statistics, which has been used in uh, many different applications around the world. And I guess the question for you uh, uh, is uh, if this is a useful tool for crisis mapping or not. Uh, here we have uh, breast cancer incidents in the 99 counties of Iowa. Um, and the darker blue is higher rates and the white is lower rates. And the question is then, is this kind of some pattern to this, that there are higher risk of breast cancer in some parts of the state, or is it just a random uh, uh, pattern? And one way to do this is uh, we could take each county and see if it's statistically significantly different from the rest of the map, and we'll find that seven of these counties have uh, a p-value less than 0.05. But uh, uh, by chance, 5% uh, of these 99 counties would actually have a statistically significant p-value. So what's important here is that we adjust for the multiple testing of all the possible locations of uh, hotspot clusters. So uh, one way to do that is through scan statistics. And a one-dimensional scan statistic is we have a line and some events on the line, and then we drag a window along the line, and we see is there at any point uh, a cluster. In this case, it will be three will be the biggest cluster. And the question is a statistical one. Is it likely not to find three uh, events so close to each other on a line if this was just random distributed? Now, we're interested in mapping here, so we can do the same in space. We now use a whole number of circles, some small, some large. They all kind of uh, move around, so this is just a very small sample of them. So these are all the possible locations for a hotspot cluster. And for the Iowa breast cancer data, we find that there were four most likely clusters. There are always some places where there's high, uh, high rates, but none of them were statistically significant. Uh, when adjusting for multiple testing, which we always sh should do. So it was just a random pattern. Now, some uh, properties of this method is that we adjust for the multiple testing. That's very important. We also adjust for the inhomogeneous population density. Uh, there's obviously more cases of breast cancer in this Des Moines in the cities than in the countryside, for example, or there are more uh, 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 people being killed where there are more people living. So. We have to adjust for, for the homogeneous density. And we can also adjust for confounders such as age or, or gender or other things. Uh, the spatial resolution could either be exact uh, locations of, of whatever happens, of the events, or in sometimes it's aggregated into census tracts or counties or some other, uh, or, or a raster map or something else. Uh, there needs to be often a comparison group. Uh, that could be population numbers from the census. It could also be individual controls, which could be people, or it could be houses or villages. Or it could be no uh, comparison group in the sense when we use for like space-time interaction, if we see if something is suddenly happening or occurring. Uh, then basically the events in the historical data will be the controls. Uh, red here is high and blue is low. And are there any clusters on this map of brain cancer mortality in the US? Uh, so this is the, the result that uh, the brown ones here are statistically significant clusters. Uh, and the most one has a PV less than 0 0.0001. And the green ones are statistically significant with less brain cancer than uh, uh, the other uh, maps, uh, the other parts of the map. And we can kind of... Uh, Go back and forth here a little bit. So why didn't Nevada show up? Why is there nothing here? That's because almost nobody lives in those counties. So maybe there was one case or two cases only. 
uh, to uh, do this kind of analysis, there's a freely available uh, statistical software called SASCAN, uh, which can be downloaded from uh, www.sascan.org. Uh, and it's uh, used uh, all over the world, including uh, uh, many uh, countries where uh, uh, small, very in many uh, small countries. And uh, in addition to the purely spatial things that I showed, uh, you can also use a space-time uh, methods for, which is used a lot for the early detection of disease outbreaks, uh, and that might also be used for, like for the early detection of uh, crisis outbreaks. Uh, uh, so that's it. Thank you very much.